My name is Maurice Patterson. I'm the owner and operator of MMP Environmental Solutions. We are a commercial grease trap cleaning service and waste management company. And today we will be cleaning a commercial grease trap in a Mediterranean restaurant. The function of a grease trap is to prevent any solids, fats, oil, and greases from dishwasher or dishwashing sinks from entering your piping system. So the cleaning process typically starts with me inspecting it, making sure it's functional. Typically, you want to clean your grease trap about every three months. I would say that it hasn't been serviced, most likely close to a year. Then we unplug the grease trap and we start to remove all the components. From that step, we will prepare them to be cleaned with the brush washer. So right here, we're doing our pump out. We have the wand connected to the high powered vacuum pump. We'll use the wand to pump out the entire grease trap. So as you can see, there's a lot of grease sitting on top of the grease trap and you can get a glimpse of the solids that have floated to the top as well. For Mediterranean restaurants, you're going to get a lot of oils, cheeses. You're also going to get a lot of rice. The rice is usually the main contents that sink to the bottom of the grease trap that you're going to want to pump out regularly. I would describe it as yellow grease. So yellow grease is typically grease that's used to make fries or things like that. There's actually two different types of grease known in the industry. You have brown grease. That's typically grease that's scraped off from pots and pans that have traveled down into your dishwasher and your sink, down to your grease trap. And then you also have yellow grease. You can actually sell it certain places. They may recycle that grease and turn it into biofuel, things like that. It's considered liquid gold. Some companies will actually pay them for it. So they're incentivized to make sure that it's not going down the drain. Here, what I'm using is a putty knife. I'm scraping just old food waste that has collected on there. Organic waste just turns black over time. It's oxidized and turns black. It's a health risk, mainly because any type of overflows from your grease trap may come in contact with food. We use a pressure washer just to make sure we're getting all the residual solids cleaned out. I'm using steel wool just to do a final scrub down, make sure I'm getting into all the nooks and crannies, all the tight spaces. I do this right before we do a final spray down with the brush washer. So we dispose of the grease at a water pollution control facility that will accept the fast oil and grease. And there's not many places that do accept it. So it's limited, but you know, we dispose of it in an environmentally responsible way. When grease goes down the drain with the dishwater, it's typically hot. So grease or oils, when they're hot, they're liquefied. When they cool down, they solidify in the drain. That may cause plugging, which will in turn cause backups, overflows. If it negatively impacts the sewer system, then they can incur fines. They will have to buy a new grease trap or pay plumbing fees to rectify the problems. The smell is, you can't miss it. It's one of the most foul smells ever. If you see me wearing a mask, that means it's, it's ungodly. It's, it's the most foul thing ever. 